Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Welcome to everybody who's live. Welcome to everybody who's watching on the replay. If you're new around here, my name is Brittany, and this is Pennies into Pearls, where you can come for motivation and tips to help you live a better life with your family, but without stressing about the money. How good does that sound? So in today's video, I've got my notes over here. I've got my water bottle because mama's throat gets a little bit dry as I keep talking. I wish I would have put on some chapstick, maybe a little color on the lips today, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it, right? That's not what's important. <sighs> and I need my hair to stay behind my ear. Okay, <laughs> we got this. Today we're going to talk about where you need to start to when it comes to budgeting to help you avoid the overwhelm. And we're going to talk about like where you are now, how, what you're doing now that's keeping you stuck and overcomplicating it. I can't tell you how many messages, emails, DMs I get every single week, women, moms and wives that are asking me, they're like, how do I get started? What do I need to do? This is my situation. And really they're just overcomplicating it, but that's not your fault. It's not your fault that you're overcomplicating it. And we're going to kind of like go into that. We've been taught wrong. So the way I'm going to teach you today how to get started budgeting, I need you to kind of like throw everything that you've learned about before out the window and we're going to rethink and rework and customize how many times am I going to use a variation of the word custom in today's live training? I don't know, a lot of different ways. So as you're coming in, oh, also what I needed to let you guys know is if you are watching this on the replay, you can um, still comment on the video because here on Facebook, if you're watching this video anywhere else, I'll link you to the Facebook video because Facebook is where I'll be checking for comments um, and questions and interacting with you guys there um, to really make sure that this is working for you because I believe so strongly that there should be no reason, no matter what your income is, no matter what your like personal situations are, what your bank account looks like, this is gonna work for you. This is gonna help simplify and customize the way you manage your finances. Not only so you can actually pay the bills and relieve all that stress and wonder, but to actually create a more exciting life, a better life for you and your family that is way beyond living that paycheck to paycheck life where you are stuck going to work, paying the bills, no money left over for anything else, always wondering where did all our money go? So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get started. Um, if you're watching this live, will you write in the comments right now? Just give me a little hand wave emoji um, or let me know where you're from. I'm in San Diego right now. We actually live in the mountains of San Diego. I really didn't even know that there was mountains into San Diego until we like started house hunting. And um, anyways, I love it. We're in the mountains. We're not too far from the beach and all the really fun things that come along with the city of San Diego. So if you're watching this live or even if you're watching it on the replay, write in those comments where you're from um, and let me know your name if it's different. So Carissa from Alabama, hello. Um, tuning in from Michigan is Sarah and Claire is from Cork, Ireland. Wow, we are international today. That is so exciting and what's so cool is that it doesn't matter. All of these strategies are going to apply no matter where you live. Ashley from Las Vegas. Hey, Ashley. Thank you guys so much for um, commenting in there. I love to like get a more personal feel of like who I'm actually working with today and teaching and learning from too. Um, so um, what I want to know from you guys is what are you currently doing right now to figure out that next step? in your budgeting. So what do you guys do when you're like, okay, that's it. I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. We have these exciting goals and wishes and dreams for our family. And I want to make it a reality. What do I need to do? So what are, what are you currently doing? Are you searching YouTube? Are you reading blog posts from Pinterest? Are you listening, listening to podcasts? Um, I'm going to say that when hubby and I first got started, 
we were doing all of it. We were reading books. We were listening to books. We were watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts. I would search Pinterest and Google all day long, trying to figure out like how to start a budget, how to get out of debt, how to save all of those things. Is anyone else out here? Did you guys, do you ever find yourself in the same situation? Just like searching, 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 consuming so much information because that's what we do, right? When we have a problem, we need to search out. And what that says about you, it's not necessarily a horrible thing, but what that says about you, if that is you trying to learn, and my guess is, is if you're watching this video, yes, that is you, it means that you're a hard worker. It means that you are ready to make the change that you need to in your life and your family's life to get a change in for your future. If you're just going to stay where you're at right now and keep doing the same things over and over without any action, you're going to stay where you're at. But if you're doing research and you're trying to figure this out, that shows me that you are willing to fight to create a better life for your family. Um, Claire says, watching you and many other budgeting moms. <laughs> yes, right? That's good. That's good that you're trying to get this figured out. Sarah said, I actually just bought your 30 day rescue. I'm so excited. Sarah, yes, I'm so excited to have you in our class. Um, Ashley said, I've been joining Facebook groups about budgeting. Oh, Facebook groups. That's it. That's another thing that we're just consuming, right? Okay. So the fact that you guys are doing those things shows me that you are willing to put in the work and you're trying to figure this out for your family. But the problem with searching the internet is that there's just so much information out there. And I mean, it's all good information, right? Like um, how to get out of debt, how to start a budget. And watching all these families um, do it is a really good first step. But the problem is, is that that's just so much information. And how do you know that what this mom is doing or this wife is doing for their family is going to get closer to your goals. So I've got a little visual for you. Um, oh wait, let me see right here. Um, so what that ends up doing is pulling you in a million different directions and not necessarily getting you any closer to your goals, or maybe it's slowing down your progress because you do a little bit here because you watch this YouTube video, but then you're like, oh, I know I need to work on my savings because I listen to this podcast or actually somebody was talking about this in the Facebook group. So I'm going to do that here. So you're, instead of going from where you are today point A, you and your family, and trying to get to your goal, instead of a straight line, it ends up looking like this. Now, I want you guys to tell me down in the comments, if you have some big, giant goals for you and your family, which option do you want to take? Option A, where you're starting down here and it's a straight path to your goals. I'm not saying it's simple. I'm just saying we've got a clear direction, a clear step-by-step -step path to get you from where you are today to get you to your number one prioritized goal? Or would you rather follow option B, where you listen to the podcast video and then you watch the YouTube, the podcast and the YouTube video and the Facebook group um, advice and the blog post? And how, like, it's not, none of it is necessarily getting you to your path in a straight line. So I need to see you guys down in the comments. Let me know which option you want for you and your family. Um, Sarah said option A, Tiffany said A 100%, Ashley said A. I knew you guys were gonna pick A, of course, right? You want the fastest, less complicated uh, path to get you from where you are today to your family's prioritized goals. When you are consuming too much information online, what happens is you're seeing the real life um, steps that another family is taking to get to their goals, 
but you might not necessarily know exactly what their goals. And even if their goals are the same as your goals, chances are that their lifestyle, their personalities, the whole like actual living side to their finances, the day to day that you guys have to live in is different from their family. So it's good to watch and feel motivated, but to follow the path that they're on is going to get you looking more like this, but you need a customized financial action plan that's going to get you step by step by step to your family's goals. So do you guys see how getting something customized for you and your family is going to make this whole process so much less complicated, so much, so much, um, such a clear vision of where you need to go. Sarah said, it's so overwhelming seeing so many different things. Exactly, Sarah. I'm going to help you guys escape that confusion. So how about instead of this crazy, crazy path over here, we get you on a customized step-by-step -step financial plan to get you from where you are today to your family's top prioritized goals. How does that sound? Give me a thumbs up in the um, in the chat box if that sounds like something that would totally relieve some stress. If you knew that you had now a step-by-step -step financial action plan that's turning your goals into a step-by-step -step plan to actually get you there, starting where you are today, not saying like, okay, well, once you get to this point, then this is the path. We're going to get you started where you are to make today, no matter what your income is, no matter if you have debt or not, no matter if your family's on board or not, we're going to help you figure that out. How does that sound? How could that completely transform your life? How, like, do you guys feel how your finances kind of like trickle in to all parts of your life? When things are stressful, I mean, finances are one of the top causes for divorce in our country, in the world probably is my guess. But um, it just plays such a huge, it places such a huge burden on your shoulders, on your spouse's shoulders. Um, and then I know that if I've had a stressful day, that when mama's not happy, nobody's happy in the house. So we need to make sure that we get that customized straight line path to help it um so it works specific for your family's needs the way your family uses money the way your family enjoys life because if you're feeling restricted if you're feeling overwhelmed it's not going to work and that's why it has to be customized totally has to be customized so um how would that feel how would that feel to know that you have a customized step-by-step -step financial action plan ready to go? Let me see it in the comments, you guys. How would that feel to know that you have it all laid out and you just need to follow? Okay, we got here. What's next? Okay, we got here. Because it's all about like baby stepping towards your big goal. I saw something on, um, on social media the other day that had to do with like um, baby steps are still movement forward. It doesn't matter. You're still getting somewhere. It's better than being stuck paycheck to paycheck and eventually you will get there. So what would that feel like if you knew that that financial action plan was going to get you there rather than where you are today, feeling completely overwhelmed with all that information, podcasts, YouTube videos, blog posting thrown at you. What if we could just somehow sift through it all and figure out what's gonna work best for you and your family to get you to your goals, not somebody else's goals, your goals. Nicole said, my husband and I feel so suffocated when it comes to money and enjoying ourselves just staying afloat. Nicole suffocated is exactly how we used to feel. We had over $20,000 in debt, um, we were finally pregnant for the first time after trying for four years. And I didn't want to work anymore. I wanted to stay home. Now, this is just a personal thing that we felt for our family. Your goals are going to be different. What are some of your guys' big 
dreams, not just paying off debt, but what would come after paying off debt? What would that free up your money to do? What are some big goals? Traveling, getting to do a family vacation once a year that's maybe a little more exciting um, than what you're used to, buying a vacation home, um, being able to actually celebrate your wedding anniversary. I can't tell you how many times you're like, not that there's anything wrong with this, but we just like did an at-home dinner night, but we would have loved to be able to do at least like an overnighter staycation somewhere made it a little more special. What are some of your guys' big goals that you want to reach? Um, Claire said it would feel like a weight would be lifted. Sarah said that would be amazing. Ashley said amazing with all the exclamation points. That's literally all I want. Ashley, you're kind of getting me choked up. Um, Stephanie said yearly travel. Stephanie, I'm right with you. I have like my um, start today journal. Did any of you guys follow Rachel Hollis? And one of my like top 10 goals that I write down every day are um, seasonal travel with me and hubby. And then um, annual travel as a family. I would love to have um, the finances to be able to start building those memories as a family. Claire said, buy a house and international vacation every year. Oh, Claire, I love how you're stepping it up. Sarah said, we want to be able to travel more without worrying about money. Right, Sarah? Being able to travel and have the cash already ready to go. And then when you're on that vacation, how good does it feel to be on vacation and know that everything is already planned. I can't, I mean, being able to spend money that you already have like a plan for, especially on vacation, just makes your vacation oh, so much more enjoyable. Once we got rid of our debt, all of a sudden we're like, oh, what? like you have way more money than you think you do. So that's just one goal as an example. But we started, we went to Costa Rica. That was our first international vacation, just the two of us. It was so amazing. Zip lining in the rainforest, you guys. These are things that become a reality for you once you have a step-by-step -step plan in place. Maya said we would create more grand memories and even continue to grow our family. Yes, Maya, that is so amazing. So many of our pearls um, that I help with, that I help walk through this process, some of them are working to pay cash for IVF so they can grow their family that way because that's a really big expense. But growing a family is such an amazing goal. And yes, there are some financial <laughs> things that are tied to it. So thank you guys so much for sharing your goals with me. I love to hear what you guys are dreaming about. Oh, a couple more. I can't stop reading them. Do you guys feel excited hearing each other's goals and like seeing what you could be working towards and actually making a reality? Tammy said, hey, Tammy, she said, I would just be glad that the worry was gone from living paycheck to paycheck. Exactly, Tammy. And Tammy, I know that you are on the track. You are on track to do that. I know that you've already felt a lot of stress relieved, right? Um, Mackenzie said, we want to buy our first house this year. This year? That is totally within your reach. I know you can do that, Mackenzie. All right. So now that we kind of have got our mindset around the fact that yes, we can actually make this a reality. Let's like, let's put it to action, right? Like let's stop talking about it and let's figure out how we're going to make it work and like what you need to do in order to get the ball rolling rather than just dreaming about it, right? Um, when you create a customized step-by-step -step financial action plan to achieve your goals, you're going to actually make that happen. So that's what you need is a customized step-by-step -step financial action plan. So what that means is you figure out where you are today, you prioritize your goals and pick your top prioritized goal and figure out what are the little baby steps you need to take in order to get there. Um, and in a couple days, I'm doing, yeah, in a couple days, I'm doing a free live workshop for you guys that's going to walk you through all of the steps to actually get you here. Something I forgot to mention is that this video is the third video 
in a four-part video series that's walking you through all of this, this whole process. So um, in the description of this video, this live, um, I have links to the previous two videos, there's this video, and then there'll be another one on Thursday. And so that's what I need you to understand is like it's more this whole process of me helping you work through this Better Life budgeting series is that it's a linear path. It's really hard. I mean, I have my YouTube videos and my blog posts that I work so hard and pour so much time and effort into to help you guys. But on those platforms, it's just, it's, um, there's no system for me to show you the linear process right now. So that's why I'm doing this series to get you step by step by step to show you the linear path so that way we can get you off of the zigzag path, right? Let's get you on the straight path. And that is creating your customized financial action plan. So stick with me through this series. We have another video on Thursday and then I have my free workshop um, that is gonna be super detailed. So get your notes, your pen, your paper, all of it. Um, because all of these work together and it has to be that step-by-step -step system rather than me just sending you links to a bunch of different blogs and podcast or YouTube videos. Oh, see what I mean? There's just so much information out there. So that's what you need is the customized step-by-step -step financial action plan getting you from where you and your family are today to your top prioritized goals. When you create a customized financial action plan, you're going to actually make it happen. And that's why I have this for you guys. Maybe you do a little screenshot so you can remember and keep motivated that a dream without a plan is just a wish. You need that plan and you need to make it fit into your budget. That's why I'm always talking about goal-based budgeting. Your financial action plan gets your goals into little tiny steps that you then can work into your budget and starting with where you are today and making it customized. That's why searching the internet isn't working for you right now because it's not customized. And that's why you need to figure out those steps and then work those steps into a goal-based budget. That's what it is. It's taking those financial action steps that are customized to the way you and your family live on the day-to-day and working them in to your budget because a dream without a plan is just a wish. Do you guys believe that? You have to have a plan, otherwise it's never gonna actually happen. I could say one day, like yeah, we wanna buy a house. Or, yeah, I wanna quit my job and be a stay-at-home mom. Wouldn't that be awesome if we could live in Hawaii for one month every year? Hmm. I might be changing that in my goal plan. I would love, that would just be amazing. The family, what if we could live in Hawaii for a month every single year? My little Mav, my four-year-old boy, he wants to swim with whales. And we were watching the Bucket List family on YouTube the other day. He wants to, he wants to swim with whales in the wild. And he's like, Mom, can we do that? Yeah, he's four, so he doesn't quite grasp the concept. But I'm like, yeah, kid, I want to do that too. Maybe it's not going to happen this year. But maybe in five years, maybe in 10 years, probably when he's 14. But if we start making a plan for it now, I can guarantee you it will happen if we prioritize it and make a plan. Oh, it's so important. You have to have that step-by-step -step financial plan worked in to your goal-based budget, starting where you are today to get you to your top prioritized goal. So... Um, okay, I was just making sure I'm not missing any comments over here. Just hoping one day you're going to buy a house or you're going to go on vacation doesn't make it happen. You have to have that plan. You need that customized plan based, of how, based off how your family lives, what your family's bank account looks like, and what your family values most. Because on this plan, if you're following just all of this internet searches, that's that those are people teaching you what they want to what they think is most important but when you base your values base your pride your goals off of your values that's what's going to bring you the most joy that's what's going to bring you the most reward and that's what's going to keep you and your family your spouse motivated to keep going on this journey you guys can make it happen all of those dreams growing your family 
um, traveling, buying your first house, you can make it happen with a customized goal-based budget. So what I want you to do in the next video is when I'm going to teach you more about creating, actually creating that customized step-by-step -step financial action plan. Um, but what I want you to do today, because I'm always asking you guys to take action because I know you're feeling motivated and you're seeing the possibility and hope of actually turning your goals into your reality and actually starting to work towards them. So I want you to brainstorm. Maybe tonight um, you can gather the family around and you can start dreaming big. What are some really fun, exciting goals that you want to do together as a family? What are some, some um, maybe some financial steps that you know are going to bring you freedom? I want you to be able to brainstorm that with you and your family and then take that list with you to our next video that's going to be coming on Thursday. If you're watching this video later, um, I'm linking, I'm going back and linking all the videos in the four part series. So um, make sure that you're checking the description box and still leaving all your questions um, in the comment box because I'll be coming back and answering all of those for you guys. So um, in the next video, we're going to talk about what you need to do in order to actually create this financial um, action plan that is customized to you and your family. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I want you guys to take this to heart. Do your brainstorming. What are your big dreams? You have a couple days to get it down on paper and then bring it with you to our next video because you're going to learn how to stop sifting through that endless amount of online information and how to finally create a customized action plan that's going to get you straight to your goals and rather wasting that time that you're never going to get back. Time is the only commodity that we never will get back. So we need to stop wasting that time. Use our time efficiently so we can get to those goals as fast as possible. I don't know about you guys, but as my family's growing up, I worry that I'm wasting time. Like, I would love to build memories with my family right now. And if I don't start now, I'm never going to get that chance. So you need to be able to get on that um, get on creating a step-by-step -step financial action plan for you and your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you think of any questions um, once this video has ended, come back. Leave a question in the comments. Um, I'm going to be here to answer those for you. Heather said, how do we get there? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about next time. I want these videos to be under 30 minutes so that way we can um, – Make sure that we're still getting traction and progress. So in next week's video, we'll be talking about how to actually create that financial action plan now that we've covered the mindset of um, being able to escape living that paycheck to paycheck life. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.